Welcome. Uh, today we are going to talk about um, product charter. Product charter is the first step in the fine phase. So please go to go4sigma.com, uh, download the product charter, and you have um, some fields to be updated in, in the template. The first field is about um, project name. So what is your project about? And uh, you are not sure now what is your project title. Let's let's go, move on. Let's go through the next uh, fields to be updated, and uh, we'll come back to project title as as a last step. Okay, the next uh, field is process. So, what is your process? Um, please be very precise here. What is your process frequency? Uh, how many people are involved in the process? What are the location the process is done? Is it one country or many countries? Uh, please include all those information in, in the project charter, in process part. And please keep it short and simple. So it's very important that your project uh, charter is precise and somebody who has no idea what is your project about can very quickly identify and understand what is your project about. The next part is the problem statement and uh, please include the information what is the problem related with your process and also please be very precise here you can list three problems five problems but make sure they are listed here and uh, people who look at the project charter have a comfort to understand what is really the problem here and please concentrate on the current state. So what is the current problem in your current process? The next part of uh, Project Charter is um, about the project scope. The project scope is very important. It's about understanding what is um, the part of the process included in your project. So what is the part of the process you are going to um, improve? in your project. Make sure that uh, the scope is very precise as well, so you can um, very um, precisely define that, for example, you include only process done in location A in your project and location B is not included. This is very important because later during the project uh, you will contact many people people will find out about uh, your project and then come they, they can come to you and ask about um, including their part of the process or their location in your project and after um, if you are uh, in the middle of your project and somebody will request the change of scope it's very uncomfortable for you so make sure the project scope is defined and the project scope will be not changed later in the in the project it's for your comfort as a project leader. Uh, speaking about the project leader, the next part of the project charter is who is the project leader. So you are the in Six Sigma Greenbelt candidate. Please include your name here in the project charter. And the next part is the um, project sponsor. Project sponsor is very important person. Project sponsor is somebody who is interested in your project to be successful. Somebody who has interest in your project to be successful. It's somebody who will help you if you have problems in your project. So in any phase, um, somebody will help you um, and will, 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 will um, support you. So it's very important. And the person, uh, the project sponsor, should have a time for you. So please make sure you set up monthly meetings with your project sponsor, weekly meetings, but the person should be enough senior to have an impact uh, and decision make a, uh, make a decision about the process improvement, but not uh, too senior, uh, because the very senior person will not have a time for you. And you will need this time, so, so make sure you will choose the right person as a project as sponsor. Okay, the next part of the um, project charter is um, team members. So please decide who will be included in your team, who will support you in your project, 
maybe who will help you to collect the data and uh, analyze together the data. Maybe um, the team member is a, somebody who will be impacted by, by the change, somebody who is involved in the process or somebody who is waiting for the results of your process. Please make sure that um, those people are, are included here. And please make sure uh, you ask them if they want to be part of your project. Uh, try to define what's their role. So, mm, and, and also important, uh, please make sure they are happy to, to be on the, on the project charter. The last part of the project charter is about objectives. Objectives is about how you are going to measure your process. Uh, please make sure you have um, one primary objective. You can include for example, two or three objectives in your project charter, but this is like your first um, Six Sigma project and I want to keep it uh, short and simple so you understand the flow of define, measure, analyze, improve and control. And with uh, many objectives, it would be very complicated. So please make sure you have one simple objective and the objective is connected with the problem statement, is approved by project sponsor and it's really like a Mm, the good metric of your problem. So, for example, if you have a mm, defects in your team, uh, your objective would be mm, reduce number of defects in team A, uh, like a monthly number of defects. And then, as a next step, you will collect the data in measure phase. So, we will include the data from mm, um, measure phase in the project charter as well later on. So um, project charter is uh, like a live document. So you can uh, change information in terms of the objectives, add the information based on the real data. And um, it's very important that your problem statement is connected with the objectives and is connected with the project title. So coming back to project title, please make sure that um, in the project title you include what is the objective? Reduce risk, reduce time, improve quality, reduce number of defects in process you describe uh, on the project charter. So it has to be connected together. Okay, so um, if you have any questions about a uh, project charter, if you want me to check your project charter, uh, please feel free to send it um, for help at goforsixsigma.com and I will check your project charter. And um, when your project charter is ready, uh, please go to your project sponsor and ask for approval. This is very important that you will have uh, approval of your project uh, sponsor. Uh, when your project sponsor will say, okay, I want this project to be done, so please go ahead with your project, then um, please run a kickoff meeting. You can do the kickoff meeting uh, in a room. You can send the communication, email communication, up to you. Just to make sure that people who will be later impacted by your project, people involved in the process are aware that you are starting your project from uh, today. And it's very important that um, the communication is done. So on the project charter, you can even add the information. What is the kickoff meeting date, so when the project is starting, and what's the planned finish day, so when are you going to finish your project, as well as um, the information how often are you going to meet with your team members. So for example, maybe it will be like a bi-weekly meetings or maybe monthly meetings with your sponsor. So it's very important you give the update uh, what is done in each project step um, to your sponsor. Mm, and and uh, this communication has to has to be has to be done. Um, okay, I think we are done. So um, please uh, update the project charter now, and make sure the project charter is um, done together with your team members. So they agree that this is a problem. This is a metric we are going to to measure the problem against, and your project sponsor is happy with 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 your project. Um, charter and with, with the, your project. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for, for your time and I'm waiting for your project charter. I'm happy to support you. 
and uh, the next um, step uh, will be a um, um, cyborg. Cyborg will be about uh, your process. Thank you.